and I'm back. So I was just uh, checking out. Local garage has uh, there's also a boat supply, well, boat place. Anyways, I noticed last time I was up there they had a bunch of LEDs that they sell. So uh, went up to see what they had available, just for the hell of it. I'm thinking about giving one to the old man or something for Christmas, because. Uh, you know, we, uh, we always have the problems with the, the shitty solar lights, so I was thinking we could put in a real LED light and then be done with it. Light up the whole fucking area, but, uh... His son is actually the one who deals with all that. He's off delivering a boat somewhere. He's not sure when he's going to be back, so he's going to give me a call. So we'll see what happens with that. I have no great expectations, but he might have something cheap for me, which, you know, I, I kind of complain. Cheap stuff is good, and they said that they're better LEDs because they used to. Uh, they ordered a few different types, I guess, over the years. The fishermen basically tested them for them. Local fishermen tested them for them, and uh, you know, they tell them if they're any fucking good or not. And apparently, there's a lot of cheap ones they went through that weren't no fucking good, but this one or these ones I got now seem to work all right. Myself, I don't really care what it's for. Like some of them are like, you know, there's one that looks like a house light, and then there's a couple others that are fucking different things. But really, they're all fucking LED lights. So as long as they light up, they don't burn out, and they actually work, I don't really give a fuck. And the price is right. I mean, that's the biggest thing. I don't want to pay a fucking hundred dollars for a fucking little tiny spotlight that ain't gonna do dick. I want to, you know. Make something decent, anyways. Whoa. That was weird. It's like I lost power there for a second. Oh, but I just want to go up and see if the old man's actually home or not. Um, because I, I don't know if he works today or not. He very well could. But if he doesn't, I'll probably see him now. If not, I'll see him this evening. Like any other typical man, I haven't done any fucking Christmas shopping yet. I got money for it. You know, I can do it. I just, I didn't do it. I was going to do some Sunday, but I ended up, I didn't get there in time. Store, Canadian Tire was where I was going first. They closed at 5. I got there 10, or not even 10 to 5. So I only had time to run around right quick and buy one or two things. So I did that. But I wasn't really good for shop. All the other stores were closed because it was Sunday, so I didn't want to go all the way into town either. So I said, "Fuck it," and went with it. Uh, if, he, if he isn't, I'll just turn around, and come back tonight. I don't think he is. He's not home. All right, well, that was kind of a waste of trip. I guess I could have used my phone, but whatever. I was already halfway here. I, I was going to say maybe I'll get him to come with me when I go, but I'm sure he isn't going to want to. Oh, I see Dad drug the tarp over. That's good. should actually fire the tractor up here in the next couple days just to keep her dry inside. I got a muffler at work. i got to remember to grab that. I want to put a proper muffler on it because the resonator that's on there now doesn't do a hell of a lot. It does a little, but not, not as much as it very could. I'm going to trim some branches here. I'm getting a little close when they're hitting the truck. <laughs> oh, boy, boy. I guess that's the same stuff. Oh. Here's a weird one, guys. The other day, I was, uh, I had some crud in my ear. Like, every time I laid down and yawned or whatever, I could feel something in my ear canal. Not, it wasn't, you know, distressing or anything. It's just annoying. You know, it was kind of squishy, crunchy, <laughs> kind of noise every time I yawned or blew my mouth a certain way. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, turn on the fan for a sec, guys. Fuck, I hope that radio isn't loud enough you can hear it. 
Yeah, I can barely hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so guys, oh yes. So I've been doing some research and actually just posted watching a lot of videos. Uh, curious about Oak Island. Now, if you want to know, Oak Island's literally. Well, you can see it. It's like right over there somewhere on the horizon there. It's not literally across the bay from me. I had some interest in it when I was a kid. I actually did, I think I did a school project or something. I had a few books on it. You know, I, I did quite a lot of reading when I was younger on it. But uh, let me adjust my camera here. So yeah, I mean, it's a really intriguing story, but uh, lately I keep hearing about the Curse of Oak Island. You might have seen the thing on Facebook the other day. They were saying that uh, they found, or supposedly there's been talk of some Roman sword now that some fisherman found a while ago or something. They're scared to fucking bring forward. I don't really know. Anyways, uh, hard to say if that's even legit, to be honest, it wouldn't surprise me. Bullshit, just keep the fucking show going. I don't need that now. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it was bullshit to keep the show going. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, like some people say it's undeniable that there's definitely treasure there. But I don't think really that's necessarily true. I think there is a possibility that there's something there, but the likelihood it's treasure, in my opinion, is nil. Uh, one, you would not put, if you're a pirate, or any other person for that matter, trying to hide a treasure. One, you're not going to put it on the only island in the bay with oak trees on it. It's the first place people are going to look, because they're going to be like, hey, there's a tree with oak trees on it. There's no other oak trees here. Fucking acorns or whatever don't float, so you know, how did they get there, right? So there's that. Um, it's just a bad location. I mean, there's, I live in this area, I know, I've been out in the water enough. I can tell you there's a hundred other fucking places that are better for just, you know, location for one and also for, you know, visibility accessibility. I mean, this is in the back corner of the bay. That's Got a lot of islands, but you know, if you're a pirate, you'd be thinking, well, fuck, you could get ambushed pretty easy. So there's all that, plus there's, you know, the whole thing of the way they say it's built. And I mean, there's a lot of controversy about that, anyways. You know, whether or not a lot of this is actually true is hard to say, but the whole thing of it flooding and the flood tunnels makes you wonder, like, even if that is true. Let's say it is, just go with it, they would say this is all true. That, you know, most of what has been said is true. They, you know, dug as deep as they said. And these weird flood tunnels that they found, bits and pieces of supposedly, if, you know, it actually it's true, it makes sense. Well, if that is the whole thing, and people went through that, you know, huge undertaking, get whatever was down there down there and guard it let's say with these traps and stuff some people say there was a treasure there and it's already gone it was gone before they even started that was the whole thing other people dug the treasure up well that I find highly unlikely because if somebody else dug up the treasure they wouldn't have taken the time to fill it back in uh, honestly my biggest thought that is it if it actually is something somebody actually did put something down there they made it they didn't want nobody getting it out they made it so that you know even if you knew by this by the way it seems to me even if you knew how the shit worked you wouldn't be getting it out not easily and it just doesn't seem like doesn't seem like uh, makes much sense you know if somebody put something there they wanted to get back at a later date why would they go through all this hassle it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever like, so much hassle for such you know 
a little prize. Or it's hard to say what it is, so I really can't see what the prize is. But, you know, it doesn't seem right to me. <clears throat> I shut my truck off. But yeah, it just doesn't seem, it doesn't make sense. You know, common sense dictates that that wouldn't be a treasure, ever. Any treasure seeker would really know that, you know. I think there are some people, a lot of people that kind of just believe it to believe it. And they love the story, so they figure there's got to be something, but there's just too much bullshit in it, I think, really. To be honest, if it is anything, there's, well, there's a couple things I think it could be, to be honest. Uh, I think it's probably at least the remains of, or possibly, possibly not, I don't know, but very possible that it's a pre-Columbian, Christopher Columbus Columbian settlement. Uh, there's, it's been proven that the Vikings were up in Newfoundland, for sure, and there's been lots of other talk There's um, in this area. Supposedly, the Chinese have been here. They were here thousands of years ago, apparently. Uh, and there have been other visitors, uh, according to uh, local native legends and such. So, you know, and it doesn't surprise me. I mean, you know, though they make it out like Christopher Columbus discovered him in North America and the whole Western world. It's a lot of crap. I mean, it was known that the Western world was here. It was just, uh, you know, dependent on who you talk to and, you know, what was actually recorded in history. But anyways, yeah, I'm getting off topic. Uh, but the whole thing is, is what I think is that most likely that's what that is. It's an example of something like that. And actually there's been mentioned that, you know, there's limestone under there. And it, back in them days, there were a lot of limestone mines. And in that area especially, there was a lot of mining uh, at different times for different things. A lot of gold mining actually in certain areas. And other mines, I don't know if they were coal, potash maybe, I don't know exactly. But it seems a lot more like a mine, or like maybe a sinkhole that was mined, like somebody has uh, mentioned in one of their theories, which seems a lot more plausible. Um, back in them days, records are sketchy, and it just seems like, you know, if there was more to the story that, you know, there'd be more on record, and more tangible evidence like right now they don't know where the hole really is you know and even if there was let's say okay let's say it was in the 1740s or 50s or whatever the fuck they say the three boys supposedly were going to go find the treasure or went to try to find the treasure and saw the activity on the island well let's say it was just buried then 1750, well, it's, you know, 250 years or so since then. A lot can happen in 250 years. Metal and, you know, will rust and rot. And, you know, I don't know of any 250-year-old metal in the ground around here that I can think of. If I did and have seen it, it's so fucking rusted that you wouldn't even know what it is. And as far as wood... Well, I know wood does keep better underground, but still, after 250 years, especially in an area that has uh, water activity, ocean or fresh, either or, it again points to something less, you know, less conspicuous, or maybe, I don't know what the word I'm trying to use, it just seems like uh, it's bullshit, <laughs> basically. <laughs> But uh, I just thought I'd give you my opinion on that so far anyways. I'm going to do some more research, watch the show, just for the hell of it. I actually want to pinpoint where it is. I think I can see it right now, looking across the bay. That looks roughly the right size to be it. But uh, I know, I've i been there. As a kid, I was there. I remember actually seeing an, the excavator on a fucking, right beside a hole when we drove by in a boat when I was a kid. But... You know, I was fucking five years old, six years old at the time, so, you know, 30 years later, it's amazing I actually even fucking remember it. <laughs>
Anyways, guys, I'm at lunch break. I don't have much time as usual, so I gotta fucking do like 10 things and uh, get back to work. So, thanks for watching my videos. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that bullshit. And uh, peace out. See you soon. Fuck. I need hand cleaner!